What are you doing here, Spike? Well, you went off with that trick to do the bachelor party, and you never came back. I really did miss you, honey. Look, honey, look, the storm is coming in, okay? Why don't we go someplace warm? We can just talk this thing out, okay? No, uh, I'm done with you, Spike. I'm staying here with my father and my family. Just not this again. Look, I love you. But every time I feel like we got things sorted out, you just stab me in the heart again. Now, what is up with that, honey? I came home to spend Christmas with my family. But why? They do not love you. And they don't want you, honey, not the way that I do. They do, too, want me. And I'll prove it. Daddy! Shh, shh, shh. Let's not do nothing stupid, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Noah, please. I promised my grandfather to get you and your whole family to come to the estate for his murder is announced party. Don't make me look bad to him. Not after he just bailed you out of jail. Well, if he bailed me out, Fancy, which I still find hard to believe. Look, I'm sorry. It's a no-go. Uh, Sam, can't you let bygones be bygones? Grampy really wants you to come. Fancy, you are so naive when it comes to Alistair. This man doesn't throw parties for fun. He's always got some sadistic plan up his sleeve. Oh, come on. That's not fair. I have not been to one single event that this man has thrown without something horrible happening. Look what happened the last time at his wedding to Teresa. Besides, Sam and I have invited neighbors and friends here for New Year's Eve, and it is too late to cancel. Noah, please. You should have heard Grampy. He really wants to get to know you for my sake. He's finally accepted the fact that we're a couple. And you actually believe him? Look, I, I really am sorry, Fancy, but there is nothing in the world that could get me to go to Alistair's party tonight. End of story. If your father's having a murder theme party, why is he putting an ad in the paper? I don't know, and I don't care because I have no intention of attending. We'll go to Sam and Ivy's party as planned. And whatever you like. What are you two talking about, huh? Clocks don't even look. Take a look at this. A murder is announced. Mm -hmm. Corley What the hell is my grandfather up to, anyway? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. I wonder what Alistair's up to. Maybe he isn't even the one who put that advertisement in the newspaper. Even the dark side's in a tizzy about this murder party. Oh, yes, very, very funny, very funny. If you think you can frighten me, you're mistaken. No one, no one can intimidate me. Then why are you so frightened, dear Alistair? You're in for a very unpleasant surprise tonight. You don't mean that, Ethan. You heard him. He asked you to go. Please go. We love each other. Teresa. Enough. Please, Ethan's asked you to leave. It's time to go. He would like to spend some time with his wife now. Go. Mama, Teresa, come home with me. Let's go. No. No. You're not thinking straight. And it's got to be because you're still ill. Because I was the one person who fought to keep you alive. No, if I hadn't kidnapped you, Ethan, when I did, Gwen would have taken you off life support. If I hadn't rescued you when I did, she would have killed you. You can't choose Gwen over me. Okay, I guess you want security to drag you out. You know what? Stay away from me, you witch! of the one who could sing 
Scalpel down. If it works for Gwen, it can work for me. Oh, oh. Hey, you know, if I can't keep you in jail, I can certainly have you thrown in a loony bin. If you live that Teresa, long, Gwen. Teresa, stop it. No, you know what? No, I'm not going to stop it. Not until I can explain to you everything that happened. You don't know, Ethan, you were in a coma. I rescued you just moments before Gwen tried to kill you. Teresa, that's nonsense. Gwen was acquiescing to Ethan's own wishes, his living will. Yes, Ethan's wishes, Dr. Russell, Ethan's wishes, Gwen, that stated that Ethan did not want to be kept alive by machines if he was brain damaged. Well, he wasn't brain damaged. You were only in a coma, Ethan. Which Eve said was irreversible. Well, she was wrong. Now, wasn't she, Gwen? Look at him, wasn't she? Ethan, all of medical science said that you should be dead by now. That that you weren't going to come out of that coma. I don't know how you did. I can. I can see why it was a miracle. I took you up to the cabin, Ethan. I did everything that I could to take care of you. I mean, the power went out twice. I gave you mouth to mouth until your respirator came back on. You must have been terrified. I'm sorry. I was horrified. But I did what I had to do in order to keep you alive. See, I didn't give up hope, not once, Ethan. I never gave up hope. I prayed. I prayed on the Christmas star that God would bring you back to us. And he did. And I know that, even if no one else is willing to believe it. I believe it. Hmm. What else did you do? Didn't you also make a vow to God that if he saved Ethan, you would leave Ethan alone forever? Aren't you going back on that? That is, are you putting your soul in jeopardy? I'm not going to break my promise to God. But Ethan didn't take one. He has the right to choose which woman that he wants to be with. Teresa, put it down. You are acting crazy. Teresa, sweetheart, you must be so exhausted. You know this is no way to solve things. Let me have the scalpel. Teresa, give it to her. No, you think I want to act this way, OK? You're, you're, you're forcing me into it. I saved your life, Ethan. God saved Ethan's life. Because God knows how much I love him. And God knows how much you love me. And I'm not going to let it end this way. I won't. It's almost time for the big party. Parties are so much work, but this one will be worth it. And a storm's moving in. Perfect. There are some of the things that they can scare me, frighten me. No, uh, but I'll show her. Not her, not her. It's them. It's all them. I'm going to turn the tables. Yeah, I'll turn around and scare them instead. Yes. Buzz for me, sir? Yeah, yes. It, it appears I'm uh, hosting a party here tonight. I want you to get some extra men, uh, make sure that all the perimeters on my property are completely uh, secure. Will do. Does this have something to do with that ad in the paper about a murder here tonight? Well, someone may be murdered here tonight, but I promise you, it won't be me. I think you're being very petty, Noah Bennett. Uh, My grandfather is a very proud man, yet now he's admitting that he was wrong about you and he wants the chance to get to know you. Oh, forget it, Fancy. Listen, the only reason Alistair Crane has for getting to know anyone is to find their weakness and exploit it. You're absurd and ungrateful. He just bailed you out of jail. No, 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 wait, okay. He told you that he had me bailed out of jail, but that doesn't mean he actually did it. Okay, Alistair twists the truth any way he sees fit. My father's right, 
Every time Alistair throws a party, it's to hurt somebody, and I don't want it to be me or you. Okay? Now, I'm gonna stay away from the estate tonight, and I want you to stay away, too. I can't. At the very least, I have to go home to change for New Year's Eve. No, no, no. You can borrow something from Kay. Listen, that ad in the newspaper, it's bizarre, all right? Something weird is gonna happen up there tonight. I can feel it. Oh, God! Keep your hands off me. Sorry, I'm sorry. I just want your dad to come out and ruin things again. No! You're the one who ruins things. You know, you really hurt me when you say thanks to me like that. Yeah, you know, I really missed you at Christmas. I, I was all alone. I had some nice things planned for you. Oh, look, hear me out. I, I, I figured that you'd be here. And I did not come here to force you to leave with me. I came here to ask you if you would go with me on a date. A date? Yes. It's New Year's Eve, and I got invitations to a really dressy party. You know, we can get all spiffed up. Come on, babe. It'll be a blast. Just gonna spike out in the town. And, and plus, it'll, it'll give me a chance to, to make it up to you for all my past, you know, misunderstandings that we've had. Because, baby, listen, I love you. Please be my date. Fox, just throw this paper away. We want nothing to do with Father's latest sick plan. What is a murder party, anyway? I don't know. Sounds really weird. I don't know. But I do know that if none of us go, it'll be a flop. So we all just need to stay away. We can't let Father inflict any more pain on anyone else. Sounds like a plan. I don't want to go anyway. Great. So we're all agreed none of us go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not going. Yeah. Oh, no. Good. So none of us are going to Father's stupid party. That'll show him. I refuse to let that man manipulate me ever again. Oh my goodness, look at the time. Uh -huh. We've got to get back to the BNB to change for Sam and Ivy's party. Okay. I'm gonna get James, okay? Okay. Happy New Year. Who knows? Maybe I'll see you later. No, darling, no. My bowl says that somehow we are all going to the murder party at the Crane Estate. And someone's going to die. You're asking me to a fancy New Year's Eve party. <laughs> Since when do you take me anywhere? <laughs> Jess, look, it's the hottest ticket in town. It's at the Crane Estate. I mean, you can't get any fancier than that. You want us to go to Alistair Crane's murder party? Is that, is that what he's calling it? Oh, man. Yeah, they're gonna have all sorts of games and fun stuff going on. No, I, I can't. My whole family just refused to go. Oh, baby, come on, please, you got to. I said no. Honey, please. Look, Jess, look, we're going to group. It'll be you, me, and the hell, my little friends here. We have to stay away from the estate tonight, okay? Something wicked's going down up there. Oh, please. Haven't you heard of murder parties before? Someone plays the murder victim and stages an elaborate death somewhere and you spend the rest of the night trying to figure out who the murderer is. Listen to me, Fancy, all right? I've got a very bad feeling about this. I'm not going and I don't want you to go either. How am I supposed to explain that to Grampy? Come on, you're the one who says you got him wrapped around your little finger. He'll forgive you. I suppose. <laughs> See? So we can stay here for your mom and my dad's party. It'll be fun. All right. But I'm not going to borrow a dress from Kay. Mm -hmm. I've got something up at the estate that'll knock your socks off. I'll be back here as soon as I change. All right. Hey, be careful. <laughs> Sometimes you are hilarious. Teresa, 
You're making a fool of yourself. Put that scalpel down this instant. Not until I get Ethan to understand. Oh, he understands, all right. He understands that you're crazy. I'm calling security. <gasps> what are you? Oh, Teresa, oh. Damn, you're out of control. You get them to listen to me now, Ethan. Teresa, I meant what I said before. You need to leave now. You don't mean that. Teresa, I don't want to hurt you, but you are going too far. You're going way too far. I'm staying with her. She's my wife, and I'm married. Now, please, I need some time alone with her. Please leave. everything for you to have another chance for life. Teresa, I appreciate, I really do appreciate what you did for me. And so does Gwen. And I'm amazed at your bravery. I'm amazed at your determination. But I am married to Gwen. I'm not going to leave her. She tried to kill you. Teresa, I'm sure it wasn't that way. It was the guacamole, wasn't it? You know, it was an accident. I was trying to kill Alistair. Not oh. First of all, you shouldn't actually say that in front of all these women. Second of all, I'm aware of that. I know it was an accident. But once again, you chose the wrong way to get out of a desperate situation. Doesn't this whole mess prove? Prove that you need to get away from Alistair. You need to get out of the mansion. You need to take little Ethan and go find somewhere else to be you know i can't do that if i leave alistair he will take my son from me and make sure i never see him again but Teresa, everyone warned you not to marry alistair but you didn't listen you went ahead and did it anyway you made your bed and you have to lie in it it's my fault let's go Teresa. taking you home no, no, I'm going to the mansion, Mom. Teresa, God, don't go back there. Don't go back to Alistair, please. Look, my son is up there, and so is my daughter. Court's awarded Jane to Ethan and me. She belongs with us. Jane is my little girl. I'm going to be with her. I'm coming, too. Mom. No, Mama, please. I need to do this myself. Okay, well, I'm gonna go uh, get changed for my mom and Sam's party, so I'll be back to pick you up soon. Okay, I'll be waiting. All right. Mm -hmm. Bye. Hey, I'm gonna go up and uh, get ready for my dad's party. Uh, you're not going to Sam and Ivy's party tonight, Kay. What? Yes, I am. No, no, you're going up to the Crane Estate to take part in Alistair's murder party. Okay, what is with you, Tabitha? None of us are going. Fine, don't believe me. Listen, I don't know how or why, but somehow all of us are going to the Cranes tonight. And you better wear a dark color. That way the blood stains won't show. Tonight, I want you to make sure that everyone enters this house. But no one leaves this house without my say-so. Yes, sir. You can count on me. Good. Inside, you're ugly, more hideous than a monster. And at your very center, your heart is black and deformed. Does it give you pain? Don't worry, my sweet. I'll carve it right out of your chest and pin it to the front door for all the world to see. My dear. 
date for the party. Right where I left it. Wow. Wow, yourself. You like? You take my breath away. all by yourself? Good job. Listen, your daddy and I are going out tonight. And Mrs. Henderson from the third floor is gonna come sit with you, all right? Okay. Okay, I love you, buddy. Why don't we go find a book for Mrs. Henderson to read to you? Okay, come on. Come on. Look, we're not going to Alistair's murder party, okay? We all agreed not to. And besides, how 80s can you get, really? I mean, that kind of thing went out of style before I was born. Murder never goes out of style, Kay. Here. No, don't start. You're giving me the creeps. Look, it wasn't my idea to go to the party. My bowl never lies. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, mm. it doesn't lie to me. And I just got a glimpse of the future. And we are all at Alistair's murder party. Yeah, well, I think your bowl needs a good wash. Because nobody's going to that stupid party. I have to go get ready. <laughs> Come along, my little witchling. Oh, what a mess you've made here. <sighs> Come on. Mummy's going to read you a lovely chapter from Silence of the Lambs. And then I have to get changed, because I don't want to miss the big show tonight. <laughs> Ah, looking good, Mrs. W. Well, thank you, Noah. You're looking very handsome yourself. <laughs> Where's Fancy? Uh, she went home to get changed. But she's coming right back here? Yeah. Good. Good, I don't want her anywhere near Alistair's murder party. The idea of it just gives me chills. Looking sharp, Daddy. Listen, have any of you seen Jessica? Uh, not since she took out the trash. Well, she's not in her bedroom. She's not anywhere downstairs. Oh, no, Sam, you don't think she... I don't know what to think, Ivy, but listen, I'm sorry, but I have to go find her. Okay. Ethan, I'm amazed. According to everything that I learned in medicine, you should still be deep in that coma, and yet, here you are. Hmm. And he's okay? As far as I can see, he's fine. Oh. I still want you to rest, though. <sighs> well, he will. I'll make sure of it. Great. It's going to be a great New Year's Eve. Hey, I want to make sure you're around for next New Year's Eve. If you two will excuse me, I have to get dressed for Sam and Ivy's party. Right. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy Thanks. New Year. You thank you so Bye. much. <sighs> Look. About Teresa. That storm seems to be getting closer. Listen, honey, do we have to talk about Teresa? Honey, I'm just sorry she caused so much trouble for us. Don't be sorry. Why are you apologizing? I mean, we all know how Teresa is. She acts with her heart, not with her head. Honey, she really hurt me. She kept accusing me of wanting you dead. Honey, you know... You know I wouldn't believe that nonsense in a minute. I'm sure my living will only came into play because... Well, my condition warranted it, so enough about Teresa. Exactly. She's already stolen enough from us. This is amazing that you are mm. here and you are fine. And I can't wait for next year because 2006 has got to be better than 2005. Yes. Do you have plans for tonight? Mm-hmm. I'll be right here with you. Knock, knock. Book lady. Need anything to read, dear? Oh, thank you. Um... What do you have that's good? Oh, uh, how about uh, Coma by Robin Cook? Or uh, I also have uh, Rip Van Winkle, if you like the classics. I'll just have the paper, thanks. Thank you. Happy New Year, you too. Happy New Year, too. Mm. Mm. What is this? A murder?
I'll be right back. Pilar, I need to run to the mansion for a few minutes. Would you mind uh, staying with Ethan? Of course not. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. See you in a minute. Okay. What's in the paper? Nothing good. Look at that. Murder? What evil is Alistair up to now? Fancy, just in time to get dressed. When are the Bennett joining us, huh? Um, sorry, Grampy, they can't make it. What do you mean they can't make it? Did they refuse my invitation? Don't yell at me. I tried. Sam and my mother are having their own party tonight. Everyone's going there. Including you? Um, yes. Oh, don't be mad at me. You want me to be with the man I love tonight, don't you? Of course I do. Of course. <laughs> You're the best. I've got to get ready. <laughs> I know how to make all of my guests come to this festive occasion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, well, well. My wife is deigned to grace us with her presence. Yes. <laughs> Me. Stop. Get dressed. We're hosting a party tonight. Since when? Since someone invited guests to our home to attend a murder. It wasn't you, was it? When I murder you, Alistair, do you think that I want witnesses? Oh, no. I guess we'll just have to uh, do the best we can. <laughs> Why don't you just tell the guards not to let anyone come in? and tarnish the crane reputation for hospitality? Never. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to be a part of any of your sick jokes. Oh, yes, you will. Oh. Now, you get upstairs and get dressed. You understand me? Yes. All right. Baby. <laughs> Gotta get a move on before this storm kicks up. Come on, sweetheart. No, 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 no. I shouldn't. Oh. I've got to get home from my father's party. Oh. I promised I'd help. Oh, honey, you're too stoned to leave much help. <laughs> Stuff's really kicking in, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it feels real good, darling, baby. Uh, mm-hmm, uh, yeah. <laughs> tell you what, I'm gonna give you one more here. It's gonna set you the whole night. Bring New Year's Eve right. Here it comes. Ooh, uh. Into the mouth. Boink. Ah. <laughs> What do you say, baby? Thank you, Spike. Well, you're welcome, Jessica. Mm. Now let's get going to the Crane Mansion. Come on, baby. Come on. Jessica! Oh, that's my dad. Jessica. Daddy, I'm here! Now, you don't want them to hear you here, honey. Shh. Okay, let's go. Jessica, Jessica. Oh, honey, you are a greedy, greedy little girl. You had to beg me for that last bill, didn't you, sweetheart? Well, yes, I gotta carry you. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Jessica! Did you see her? No, damn it. I thought she was home for good this time. I thought she was serious. How can she choose the streets over life at home? It's the drugs, Sam. You know, the drugs, they can ruin anyone's life. Oh, God. What if, what if she's gone back with Spike? And you know, I have a terrible feeling about this. all over my clean floor. <laughs> right, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't, uh, wasn't thinking. Are you going out tonight or something? Yes, yes, we all are. Oh, you look great, but I thought you were staying home to babysit the kids. Well, I got a sitter at the last moment. Uh, hmm. I'm working on it. I'll get it, I'll get it. Would you stop this nonsense? We are not going to the Crane Mansion tonight. Yes, we are. I don't want to, mind you, but there's some compelling force pulling the entire town up there. You can't fight it, Kay. Kay, your dad's here. Oh. Hey, we we're just on our way next door. Has anyone seen Jessica? I haven't seen no. her. No. Oh, no, you don't think. I think she's gone back to Spike. Uh, 
Why would she do that? It's okay, it's okay. We'll find her. We'll find her. Oh, please. Whiny Jessica Bennett is the least of our worries. Someone at the Crane Mansion is going to end up dead tonight. Such evil. Such sin. Alistair Crane has literally put all my loved ones through hell. He deserves to die a thousand deaths for all he's done to the good people of Harmony. It seems like even God himself is angry about whatever Alistair has planned. No. All right, help me out, please. Why? Because I'm getting dressed. I'm going to the mansion right now. No, Ethan, look, Eve said you still needed to rest. Well, I'm not going to sit here if there's a possibility that the people I love are in danger. I'm going up there. I'm getting Jane, little Ethan, Gwen, and Teresa. I'm getting them out of there. I'm not going to subject them to whatever Alistair has planned tonight. Ethan, please don't do this. Pilar, please, will you just help me, OK? I need to be with the woman that I love right now. Which woman is that? Gwen or Teresa? really pretty in that, Molly. Thank you. So, uh, we'll say goodnight to your sister and then I'll read your story. Okay. What are you doing with my little girl? Teresa, I really don't have time to argue with you right now, okay? I'm taking Jane, I'm leaving the mansion. That's right, sweetheart. And if you have any brains, you should take little Ethan and leave too. Why? Did you not see Alistair's ad in the paper about his little murder party here tonight? Yeah, I'm hosting the party, Gwen. Are you kidding me? Teresa, look, for the sake of the children, Alistair is up to no good. I don't know what he's planning, but we need to get them out of here. I guess I need to get you out of here, honey. Just grab your car and go to your mother's, OK? Did you lock the door? No. We are locked in here. Hello? Someone let us out? Somebody, hello? Hello, it's Fancy. Who is that? Fancy, hey, it's Gwen. And it's Teresa. Someone's locked us in here. Can you help us? That's weird. Here. Ethan, you still haven't answered my question. Which woman do you love, Gwen or Teresa? I'm going up to the mansion right now, and I'm going to get everyone out of there. Gwen, Teresa, the children. Whatever Alistair has planned, I don't want him in danger. I got to go. Just please, please promise me you'll be careful. Ethan? He's gone, Eve. He saw the ad in the paper about the murder party that Alistair's having at the Crane Mansion, and he, he went up there to get Teresa, Gwen, and the children out of there. What does he think he's doing? He just got out of a coma. I know. He's worried about them, and frankly, so am I. God knows what evil Alistair has planned. Sam? Sam, it's Pilar. I'm at the hospital. Did you, by any chance, have you seen the ad in the paper about this murder party that Alistair has planned up at the Crane Estate? Yeah, but uh, none of us are going. Well, Ethan just left here, and he's on the way up there, Sam. <sighs> what? By himself? Ethan went up to the mansion. I couldn't stop him, and... He wants to get Gwen, Teresa, and the children out of there before anything terrible happens. I'm really worried, Sam. Look, Pilar, listen, uh, I'll go up there myself and uh, help Ethan get everyone out of there before Alice can do any harm. Thank you, Sam. I'm going to the mansion. I, I'm going with you. There's safety in numbers. Yeah, I'll go, too. Go. I'll stay here. All right. Uh, I'll be back as soon as I can, okay. right? OK. Get your coat, Kay. When they're gone, we'll conjure up a sitter, and then we'll get ourselves up to the mansion. What is up with you? I've told you a million times, we're not going to that party. Meanwhile, half the people who said they weren't going are en route there right now. Are you forcing everyone up there by magic? This is much bigger than magic, Kay. This is fate. Oh, please. Now you sound like Teresa. Yeah. None of your snickering. When Lady Fortune spins her wheel, we are all powerless before it. Everyone is going to that party tonight, and someone is going to be murdered. 
The door is locked and I don't have a key. This is the nursery. This door isn't even supposed to lock. Fancy, can you go get some help, please? Help? Uh, I'll, I'll get a maid up here. Wait, Fancy. I think this is Alistair's doing. I think he's trying to keep us his prisoner. That's ridiculous. No, it's not, Fancy. He's got this murder party thing going on here tonight. But please help us get out of here. You girls are weirding me out. Hello? Noah, it's Fancy. I I'm home, and Gwen, Teresa, little Ethan, and Jane are locked in the nursery. They can't get out. Well, is there a handyman on duty? No, it's more than that. There's something strange going on around here. I don't know what, but I'm scared. Can you come up here? Yeah, I'm on my way. Ready to go? Just about. <gasps> what is it? If you want proof that Alistair Crane was behind the desk, of Antonio and Luis Lopez Fitzgerald come to the murder party tonight at the Crane Estate. What is this, some kind of sick joke? I don't know. But if there's any chance that it's true, I'm going to that party to nail my father to the wall. Hey, you finally did something you were told to do. Yes, freeze an ice rain out there, Mr. Crane. It's not going to stop my guests from attending my soiree. You take Miss Bennett upstairs to the guest room at the end of the West Wing. Well, what if, what if somebody sees me going up there? Don't worry about anything. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> now, by the time this evening is over with, there won't be a soul in harmony I ever wounded. No more. Now is a time for strength and for justice. Alistair will pay for what he's done to the people I love. Happy New Year, Alistair. It's your last. We're all rounded up here for one reason, so Alistair can cause pain and cause grief to people. Murder's about to strike. Back. What are you gonna do? Shoot them in cold blood? 